Hello, and we start with the latest out of Europe after a shooter took the lives of at least three people in what could be a terror attack. Now, right now, authorities say they have a 36-year-old Turkish native in custody. He is believed to be responsible for today's shooting in the Dutch city of Utrecht. It comes just days after last week's terror attacks on two New Zealand mosques. RT's Ashley Banks is here in studio with the latest details. Ashley, so authorities have the suspect in question in custody. Now, what exactly has happened here? Yes, uh, that's right, Scotty. So, Utrecht authorities, they just arrested the suspect that they believe to be responsible for today's shooting. He's being described as a 37 year old Turkish national. Um, of course, police right now aren't letting us know exactly what took place during that detainment. But there were earlier reports saying that anti-terror police, they surrounded a building which they believe to the gunmen to be in. Now, German officials, they were working with Dutch officials during the manhunt to the point they were heightening surveillance on the border between Germany and the Netherlands just in case he decided to flee the country. On top of that, uh, both the Dutch and German officials, they were surveilling major highways, minor crossings and railways. And as you know, the story is still developing, and as it unfolds, authorities will inform the public of what actually took place here. Well, that's the thing. You're right. The story is still unfolding. Let's switch gears a little bit. Are we learning anything new when it comes to this shooter involved in the mosque and the two shootings from this weekend in New Zealand? And the shooting does come just days after that horrific tragedy, tragedy that happened. Is there any connection or any sort of idea that the, the, this shooter was watching the events that happened over the weekend? No, no, no thing of a connection. There, there's no word on that, unfortunately. But these shootings come very close together for both New Zealand and the Netherlands. Now, now, a Christchurch gun shop is now acknowledging that it sold guns online to the 28-year-old white supremacist responsible for killing 50 people in these two mosques. Now, the gunman, he's being identified as Brenton Harrison Tarrant. He was an Australian national. Now, he was sold four guns and ammunition uh, through a police verified online mail order process. Now, Tarrant, at this point, he's saying that he wants no legal representation. He's due back in court on April 5th. But the prime minister is basically saying it looks like he's going to face more charges than he already is. But the country of New Zealand is very unhappy, of course, with what took place. A lot of people are mourning. And this is the worst mass shooting that that country has seen in modern history. Things like that don't happen there. Do we know anything more about whether this is, I guess, same legal in New Zealand to buy guns and ammunition online? There was no, uh, this, he wasn't doing anything illegal, but that doesn't mean that it was right. Right, no, he wasn't doing anything illegal, but the prime minister, she's looking to change these gun laws. So in the coming days, it looks like we're going to see gun law reform. Like I said before, this is the worst mass shooting that this country has seen in modern history. And she wants to make sure that this doesn't happen again. She said that through this shooting, it's definitely definitely expose some weaknesses in their gun laws. So she, she definitely wants to cover up all these holes in the gun laws there in New Zealand. But on top of that, what I find interesting is that she's going to make sure that there is an investigation underway to determine why Tarrant wasn't on a government watch list, why he wasn't being watched, why there weren't any signs. And there are a lot of people who are critiquing these agencies and basically saying you are paying too close attention to the Muslim community and thinking that they were going to do something wrong instead of looking at all of the citizens here in New Zealand, there in New Zealand, no matter the race or religion to make sure something like this doesn't take place. Well, it's definitely been a hard weekend for, for several people, several families and several countries involved. This is a developing story today. Obviously, keep on this morning's events. Thank you, Ashley, for following You're this. You're welcome. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.